Okay, so just a little bit of fun with tabs and ruler and just how you can set tabs. By default, tabs are actually set at every half inch. You can see I've got the show paragraph markers on. These little arrows are tab markers. You can see if I press the tab, you'll see the markers there. And by default, they are set at every half inch. But we can change that and we can set them ourselves. And the best way and the easiest way is to use the ruler. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Just press enter. Have a look up in the top corner there. You'll see, I guess it looks like an L, but it, it shows the alignment. So click on it once again. That shows center. Click again, and that's right. Click again, and it's a decimal tab. And click again, it's a bar tab, which I'll show you in a sec. Not a bar tab that you get free drinks with. Um, and then back to the default, which is left justified. It's easy, left justify. I can very simply just add a couple of them onto the page um, and I'll add some right justifiers as well just so you can see and some centers so center I might plonk about here a couple of centers and click here again and right tab I'm gonna set a right tab about there so if I press tab once it goes to my first tab marker here um, I'll just put some words, I'll just put left, left, center, center, right. What you can see is that with the center tabs, and I'll just click on the rule, you'll see a line draw, how that's where my tab is, and you can see my word is centered at the tab marker. Same here's my tab marker, it's to the left, and of course my tab marker here and it's to the right so very very easy if I come back here I'm just gonna do some random words well not even words so that's tabs in action that's how easy it is no excuse to have ugly documents beautifully lined up each time. I'll show you the difference between the other two tabs that which we didn't mention and that was the bar tab and the decimal tab. Firstly um, I'll take this one off and to take a tab off that I don't want as simple is just drag it down with the left mouse button. Take it off go up here and choose a decimal tab. Now a decimal tab will align it at the decimal place. So I'll put a decimal tab there and I'll take that one off so just drag it off and I'll put a bar tab there just so that you can see so maybe plonk it about there so press tab once that goes to my left tab so left decimal tab I need to put some numbers in so with a decimal place one two three dot three two across to my bar tab which essentially just puts a solid line and here is my center tab and there's my right tab press enter left do some numbers you can see that it's aligned at the decimal tab. I put my little cursor up there and click the left mouse button to get my ruler you can see aligned at the decimal place isn't that beautiful um, my bar tab which just creates a solid line as I go through so I press tab creates a solid line this is my center and there's my right tab um, so that is really the nuts and bolts of using tabs using the ruler. Um, the only other thing that you can do is there is um, the ability to format tabs and um, do things like dot leaders. So for example, if I highlight um, these two rows for example, and if I click here, I think we should be able to get the tab down the bottom here tabs and um, here is the dot leader stuff now remember it is a dot leader leader in front not behind leader is in front so if I'll just move that over you can see there's my tabs ones at 0.75 ones at 3.25 ones at 6.75 um, which is say this one here so if I just pick the 6.75 one choose a dot leader click 
OK. And there you can see that's the dot leader, and that will actually print. So if I take those off, they're actually there. And you see dot leaders when you do table of contents and stuff where it highlights across to the page number. So it's a bit of fun with tabs and rulers. And that